international business. In our global economy, it represents a huge series of opportunities, but also irritations and frustrations, as traders increasingly fail to feel truly in control of their global logistics. But if we adopt the concept of smart and secure trade lanes, they become problems of the past. The basic idea? Focus on data, rather than on documents that contain them simply to bring together all information concerning shipments in a single network of trusted networks. In the current system, the, uh, the data sharing and logistics is very fragmented. There are countries in the world where they still use telexes. But all those information has to be joined up at a certain moment. At border crossing is the moment that customs start asking all that information. And when you have pre-prepared the information in a kind of unified standard, then communication of the data to customs or any other authority or any other one in the supply chain is much easier. There's a lot of pressure on the supply chain. If you look at the cost of moving a container, the administrative costs are higher than the physical transport cost. We cannot continue to just have everything coming to our hub. We need to know what's coming in advance. So we would like to make deals with others, departing ports, to see what's coming and to be able to anticipate. You can imagine here for flowers, uh, every delay that we have for flowers it really affects the vase life at your home. Uh, and information helps us to know where the delays are and how to prevent them. Pending cargo is costing money. And if you can offer your market a reducing of 20% of the total transit time. It's saving a lot of cost. Well, the most important thing is the willingness uh, of all parties involved to share information on a, a trusted network. Because of the data sharing, the whole supply chain process goes more efficient. There's less errors, less waiting times, all kind of opportunity to improve processes to make things flow even faster. In theory, Clearly a single data source based on decentralized architecture could be a major development in contemporary logistics. But in a field where so many parties have so many interests, where so many actors have such different backgrounds, and where so many factors can affect such complex processes, well, theory simply isn't enough. What is needed is tried and tested practice, which is why the project team included major shippers the most relevant authorities and important locations. Traditionally, their various interests could be seen as conflicting, but in this environment of trust and sharing, an underlying commonality is brought to vibrant life. This is a 10-year effort, so it's basically three projects in a row, EU-funded projects. We started with the, the first ideas, the first prototypes, then the piloting. And therefore, you really have to bring uh, all those parties together in a neutral setting because otherwise they are not going to co collaborate and give all their commercially sensitive data. And now it's up to them to really make it work worldwide and really to make it a commercial success worldwide. Logistics is one of our vital pillars in our national economy. We have a very high level developed infrastructure as well on air side as on the maritime side. Our fast way of communicating, our collaborative attitude, that is making the difference. Because of the data sharing, the whole supply chain process goes more efficient. If the data is there, if it can be trusted, if it's trustworthy, you can build beautiful business cases. This helps us to optimize the logistics, but we can also add uh, temperature information, for instance, and see exactly under what temperature conditions the flower have been transported. And so the more uh, people start sharing their data in a new way, uh, the stronger the version of the truth, the stronger the amount of business cases that can be produced. So, there you have it. Less intrusion and more security. Fewer holdups and enhanced consistency. Less constraining and more enabling. Lower costs and improved predictability. All inside a uniform, simple and controlled environment in which all trade partners can agree to share information on common terms what they want, when they want, where they want, and with whom they want. It is the kind of common approach to individual requirements that international business needs. Now, it is what international business gets. Because that's what happens when you add a specific Dutch twist to a European initiative. And the best part is, it is all available to you now. <laughs>